welcome to bsc statistic students so in this class i discuss orthogonal contrast of various effects in two square factorial experimental design what are various effects there are uh, three particular effects the main effect of a and b main effect of a the main effect of b and interaction effect of ab now i examine i i, I check whether these uh, effects uh, are orthogonal contrast or not first of all i check contrast and then i i check orthogonal contrast why because the orthogonal contrast definition leads to first of all they must be contrast if they are contrast only it leads to that is it uh, may be orthogonal contrast otherwise no not so therefore first of all i write uh, in the two square factorial experimental design i write what are the effects the main effect of the main effect of a that is first one generally it is right it is written as a is equal to half the mean yield of a ab that is bracket ab minus b plus a minus 1 bracket ab minus bracket b plus bracket a minus bracket 1 so these are the four treatments you have one a b a b and similarly the main effect of uh, the main effect of b the factor b the b is equivalent to b half uh, a b bracket a b minus a plus b bracket b and uh, minus 1 this is what uh, the main effect of b now if you see the interaction effect interaction effect of effect ab the interaction effect ab it is going to be written as ab is equal to half ab bracket ab minus b minus a plus 1 this is what interaction effect so these are the three effects which you have in the two square factorial experimental design 1 2 3 main effect of a main effect of b interaction effect ab between the two factor particular factors ab so now what you have to identify first of all the treatments what are the treatments the treatments are for example you consider t1 is equal to ab this is the first treatment second treatment you consider t2 is equal to some a and t3 is equal to b and t4 is equal to 1 already we have discussed uh, these are the treatment combinations four treatment combinations one a b a b i have considered in this way this is the way uh, uh, this is the way i have considered a b a b 1 t1 t2 t3 t4 as uh, a b as t1 first treatment t2 second tre treatment a third treatment b and fourth treatment 1 for which you have to consider now so if you consider these are t1 t2 t3 t4 from the main effect of a that is this from this particular uh, main effect of a if you consider the linear combination of a the linear combination of uh, these treatments a b a b 1 t1 t2 t4 t1 t2 t3 t4 that is uh, we have to identify you see in the, the same similar fashion summation i is equal to 1 to k ci ti so yeah, i write here summation i is equal to 1 to k ci ti first of all if we consider for the 
first one for the main effect a here t1 t2 t3 t4 are a b a b1 if you refer this 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 a b if you multiply it 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into b plus 1 by 2 into a minus 1 by 2 into 1 uh, if you consider in this order, this is T2, this is T3, this is T1, this is T4, T1, T2, T3, T4. So, for which uh, if we consider that is a C1, the constants, all constants are 1 by 2 only, plus 1 by 2 or minus 1 by 2, we have to see. C1 here 1 by 2, C1, T1, this is if you consider C1, T1, C2, T2, C3, T3, C4, T4. Like that if you consider C1 is equal to 1 by 2, C2 is equal to minus 1 by 2, C3 is equal to plus 1 by 2, uh, C2 is equal to this is uh, C3 T3, this is C2 T2. So therefore, uh, C2 is equal to plus 1 by 2, C3 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and C4 is equal to minus 1 by 2. This is what we have to observe clearly because uh, if we have consider T2 is equal to A. So, therefore, this is C2 T2. Therefore, plus C2 is equal to plus 1 by 2. C3 is equal to minus 1 by 2. C4 is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, these are the, uh, first of all, the constants uh, in the linear combination for by considering the main effect A. The main effect A. If you consider main effect of A, this is, uh, this is the uh, linear combination and now we have to check whether it is contrast. So, summation C i, if it is set to be a con contrast, now you have to prove it is a contrast. If you want to prove this is a contrast and you have to consider summation, you have to prove that summation i is equal to 1 to k C i is equal to 0. You have to prove this. Okay. You have to prove this. So, which means you have to calculate summation C i that is uh, summation i is equal to 1 to k ci is equal to 1 by 2 second one this is uh, uh, c2 c2 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 c1 c2 c3 c4 we are adding it is equal to 0 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 0 so summation ci is 0 therefore summation ci ti what we have considered the main effect a Main effect A is equal to 1 by 2 into AB minus B plus A minus 1. This is, uh, an, or, an, or, this is a contrast. First of all, this is a contrast. This is a contrast. Now, you have to see the second one. What you have to consider second one? The main effect of B. The main effect of B. That is, uh, let us consider the linear combination is summation i is equal to 1 to k d i t i d i t i what is this if you consider the main effect of b that is this is b is equal to you can write simply this is a is equal to if, if this is b is equal to you refer the main effect of b the main effect of b is 1 by 2 a b minus a plus b plus minus 1 that is uh, 1 by 2 multiplied by a b that is uh, uh, average yield that is uh, treatment means minus a plus b minus 1 this is in an order because we have considered t1 is equal to ab t2 is equal to a t3 is equal to b t4 is equal to 1 their treatment means ab bracket ab treatment means remember we are calculating linear combination for treatment means treatment means what are treatment means bracket a b bracket a bracket b bracket 1 so therefore the constants d1 1 by 2 1 by 2 into a b next constant d2 1 by 2 into a minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into a constant d3 1 by 2 into b it is 1 by 2 constant d4 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 so, therefore, these are the constants d1, d2, d3, d4. Now, we have to prove that uh, it is a contrast. Summation di, ti. 
So hence, what we have to do is do that. What we have to prove. What we have to do. Summation di. We should uh, prove that it is zero. Summation di is d1 plus d2 plus d3 plus d4. This is nothing but uh, d1 is 1 by 2, d2 is minus 1 by 2 plus d3 is 1 by 2, d4 is minus 1 by 2. Hence, it is 0. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. Hence, it is 0. Therefore, summation di is equal to 0. Therefore, uh, the effect of b, the main effect of b, it is also a contrast. Main effect of A is a, con con is a is contrast and main effect of B is also a contrast. So, there we have proved that main effect of A and B are, are, are contrast. If you prove, if you take the third one, that is interaction effect AB, I prove directly is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by, for example, it is uh, AB minus B minus A plus 1. You can easily prove that uh, the constants 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, plus 1 by 2, it is equivalent to 0. The, the, whatever you consider the convex uh, linear combination, not convex, uh, linear combination. The linear combination of uh, uh, the constants here, for example, you consider holidays, you have considered CD, you consider another one, uh, constant K1, K2, K3, K4, like uh, so the con uh, which are if you add the constants uh, summation of ki is equal to 0 therefore this is also the interaction effect ab is also a contrast that is the uh, main effect a is also contrast main effect b is also contrast and main interaction effect ab is also a contrast so now we have proved that uh, uh, the main effects uh, ab and interaction effect ab are also contrast now we have to see whether uh, they are orthogonal or, or not uh, these contrast we have to examine now whether they are orthogonal contrast or not. First of all, you consider for which whether effects, main effects A and B are orth orthogonal. Orthogonal. This is what we check first. Whether the main effects A and B are orthogonal or not. To check this, we have to consider two particular combinations. Main effect A, the main effect A in the treatment means, means of the treatments. The treatment means if you consider 1 by 2, AB minus A, AB minus B, not A, minus B plus A minus 1. If you write in an order 1 by 2, AB plus A minus B minus 1. And similarly, the, inter uh, the main effect B, it is going to be written as uh, in the treatment means uh, B is equal to 1 by 2, AB minus A plus B minus 1. That is bracket AB, bracket A, bracket B, bracket 1. It is uh, minus 1. Right? So, these are the uh, two particular main effects A and B. The main effects of, now we have to examine that the main effects of A and B in the convex combination, that is linear combination, if you consider this is, let it be summation i is equal to 1 to k c i d i, c i t i, the treatment means, this is you consider summation i is equal to 1 to k d i t i, if you consider treatment means t 1, t 1 is equal to a b, t 2 is equal to a and T3 is equal to B and T4 is equal to 1. If you consider 4 treatments are these. AB as T1, A as T2, T, uh, B is T3 and 1 is T4. In the same order I have specified here for A and for B. This is A and this is B. Therefore, now I am writing uh, summation CITI. Therefore, I am writing C1, C2, C3, C4. C1 is equal to 1 by 2. C2 is equal to 1, 1 by 2. And C3 is equal to minus 1 by 2, C4 is equal to minus 1 by 2. Come to that, this is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. And now D1, if you refer the main effect of B, summation DITI, I, then uh, D1 is equal to 1 by 2 into AB, that is 1 by 2, D2 is equal to minus 1 by 2, D3 is equal to plus 1 by 2, 
and d4 is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, these are the values of constants in the linear combinations summation CITI and summation DITI in the main effects of A and B. Now, if you want to prove it is orthogonal, that is uh, the main effects A and B are orthogonal, that is summation CITI, summation DITI, the linear combinations in the treatment means of K treatments, here four treatment means are orthogonal, are said to be orthogonal. The contrast, uh, already contrast, we have proved that they are contrast. Now, we have to prove that orthogonal contrast, we have to examine whether they are orthogonal or not. To take, that is to prove the orthogonal or not, we have to prove that summation i is equal to 1 to k, c i d i is equal to 0. That is, uh, that we are considering uh, the summation c1 d1 plus c2 d2 plus c3 d3 plus c4 d4 is equivalent to b. What is c1? Here we have just the values I have written clearly one after another. c1 d1, c1 is 1 by 2, d1 is 1 by 2 plus c2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2, c2 1 by 2, d2 minus 1 by 2 plus c3 d3 which are minus 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 2 plus c4 d4 minus 1 by 2 multiplied by minus 1 by 2. So, therefore, 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that is uh, 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 plus these two are plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 1 by 4 this is 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 this is this cancelled minus 1 by 2 into minus plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 this is plus 1 by 4. So, hence it is 0. Therefore, summation i is equal to 1 to k c i d i is equal to 0. Therefore, the linear combinations summation c i t i summation d i t i of uh, treatment means t 1, t 2, t 3, t 4 that is a, b, a, b, 1 which are orthogonal. The contrast, these are contrast, now they are orthogonal contrast. That is, the main effects of A and B are orthogonal contrast. Similarly, we can prove that A and AB, A, B and AB are also orthogonal contrast in the two square factorial experimental design. In the two square factorial experimental design, we can prove that it is proved that, already it is proved that the main effects A and B are orthogonal contrast. Similarly, remaining also, if you consider A, B and A, B, the mutual, they are orthogonal contrast, mutually orthogonal contrast in the two square factorial experimental design. Hope you understand, this is the concept of orthogonal contrast of various effects in two square factorial experimental design. Thank you.